in a very short ladies and gentlemen welcome to this video uh, first let me explain why this video came to life uh, this video came to life basically because the day before yesterday which was the 25th uh, a cold front moved to Slovenia the weather outside was cold so they knew they knew they are very, very weather people. You have no idea how these people weather, weather when they talk to me when I was drugged up uh, about the weather. I'm not going to use MK Ultra anymore. This is stupid because this is... Let me explain to you something. Uh, eventually from here, I'm going to do that too. Let that be an entry of the end for these people. Um, I'm going to go also... I'm going to give you a little bit of background about hypnosis. Hypnosis. You heard about hypnosis, I'm sure. Uh, subconscious mind. And you can read about that stuff. Uh, I suggest you to go and read about Rudolf Steiner. But that goes a little bit further into subconscious mind. Uh, the point about what they wanted me to talk about sounded like sophisticated. The highest profile ever. The MK Ultra case, the MK Ultra case, the MK Ultra, uh, and so on and so forth, uh, uh, highest profile ever. Yeah, yeah, you know, when you lose 27 years of life on this crap, uh, when you spend about three and a half years at least drugged up 24/7, and you get at least at least 10,000 death threats, and you're beaten up and back and forth. Fuck that part called MK Ultra, the highest profile in this and that. It's a torture. It's the most sadistic criminal torture that possibly can be because next to that shit, it's a forced joblessness that said it in psychiatry. And it goes to extreme. So that portion about this case, about the highest profile ever and this and that, let's let's leave that stuff alone. American who was here, and I did film this. I filmed yesterday. The video is right here. It's about 540 megabytes. You can see this is the video right here. Let me demonstrate to you. That's what I'm going to be talking about. I have nicely explained on that video. So I'm going to keep this video just for the references anybody's going to have any doubts about. It says right here, maximum 100. Uh, and it got me by surprise. Because on the day, which was the February the 25th, as I mentioned a little earlier, the cold front moved through the Slovenia, through this city. And I decided to stay in, inside, indoors instead. And... They knew I'm going to stay indoors, and they prepared them so well. And the only thing I can do at this point in time, so that I'm not going to go and, because I did the re-recorded the video, I created another video today. Um, the only thing I can do at this point in time, I'm going to explain what American explained to me. So that we're going to end this stuff. American explained to me like this right here inside of this room he stated to me like this if you see this a meter if you're gonna see this meter uh when you turn when you when you do it like this and you turn this thing on and you're gonna see this thing which was the case and it's not supposed to be like that either it's not supposed to be like that either it was not normal but it, it happened all the time that I would place one right next to me when I would go to sleep and put one to charge. I didn't mention this because I wasn't sure. Is it because the telephone was on charge or whatever? But what would happen is it would go like this. It would go from... As soon as I would do this, it would go like this. Uh, and then uh, basically this way down, right? So it would start... Uh, sharply the needle would start to rise and it would go down here all the way to 100. 100 is a maximum that this thing can demonstrate as far as electromagnetic radiation 
Uh, if you're going to see this rapidly going like this, uh, he said, hmm, that's no good. I didn't want to take a chance and I didn't want to say this to anybody. And I wouldn't want to go and video record that stuff either. But that happened frequently. Whatever. Uh, but yesterday, I recalled, the day before yesterday, for on the 25th, I recalled, he told me, if, now, however, if you're going to go and you're going to turn this thing on, and you're going to see, you're not going to even see the needle going around like this, but one is going to be, you're going to turn one on the phone and the one is going to be already on a hundred. And you're going to hear, ta -ta 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 -ta. that's definitely because you exercise, because they exercised attack on you electromagnetic attack weapon was used on you um, Joe Biden told me that kind of stuff is gonna happen to you only a few times and then it's gonna be the end with you that stuff will seal the fate for you real fast uh, I think it happened quite a few times um, I'm sure it must have been when I did not use the phone because for the most part I wouldn't even use one because I figure out that's stupid because every time, as I stated, you go and almost every time, not every time, but you go and you, 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 you just see this stupid uh, needle going 200 and you hear this da 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 da, -da and there's nobody, nothing you can turn to. And so, but this time, because American told me, about this stuff he said if you see this already here down that's definitely because the attack was done uh, and because I recall the words from Andre Uhl I recall the words from Andre Uhl when he told me he said to me um, when I do the stuff like this to you you're finished, you're done. I do it a few times, you're done, you're you're dead. I asked him instead, he wanted to know what what are you gonna do, this and that, when I was jocked up. And I didn't frankly know what the hell uh was he was talking about, and I wanted to learn because it was a doctor, a physician, Igor Kot, our neighbor here who was also present on opportunity. And he would not even step in front of me anymore because I grabbed him under MK Ultra twice, badly. He got away with it, but he was smart enough to never walk in front of me again since. He always would have somebody he would interact with me through. So he would use another person as a proxy. And definitely whenever he would be present, he had Andre Uhl next to him in case something could go wrong again so i answered to him on a question what would i do what would i do i don't know i asked i wanted to know no i wanted to ask what exactly because what exactly how what kind of impact did this electromagnetic stuff have on you and this and that's so why i asked what about if you drink a lot a lot of water a lot of a lot of liquid uh and it appeared to me that it was a uh, that it was a good one because Dr. Ida Gorkotar, when I asked him that kind of question, uh, did not I didn't touch. The, he would not even respond to me exactly uh, on a question, but I felt it was a trouble. I felt it was no good question. I felt it was bad. Yeah, I think that if you are attacked with electromagnetic weapon and if you do consume large amount of liquid, I think that because it does have impact on your cardiovascular system and I think yeah I think that if you increase actually the flow the pressure inside of your system I think that you probably even normalize that pressure issues back and forth you go out and you somehow 
go about it. But I think that if you don't consume enough liquid, which was a frequent recommendation of Prince Harry, um, he also confronted about garlic. He had a problem with the garlic. Garlic, he insisted with a Queen Elizabeth too. They didn't like garlic that that modifies a DNA and this and that. Uh, that's bad for you. That shit actually modifies, I don't know, DNA or something like this. He was dreaming about. Uh, maybe I have no idea. Uh, but I'll guarantee you that the water, as far as uh, cardiovascular health, the liquid, whatever it is, the liquid, it's good for you. Uh, you may want to avoid salty or sugary heavy liquid if you have a cancer, if you're a cancer patient, uh, if you have a problem with a cardiovascular stuff, whatever. Uh, but consuming uh, good amounts of liquid, I think, eventually will keep you going, even through a really, really bad times. With at least, I'm going to say, a minimal damage uh, to your muscle, to your heart, basically, to arteries. Uh, cause that, what I think, that's like the main idea about this electromagnetic weapon. I woke up on a 25th on a night from 25th on a 26th, that's basically yesterday, I woke up with a headache too. Uh, it wasn't pleasant. Uh, and just as I stated when I saw this here, this, this thing here already on a hundred without even going, uh, you know, anywhere, which usually is the case, usually it would go like, steep like this up, but this time it would be already on, on the other end. I recall the scenario from, I don't like this idea about MK Ultra. Uh, that's a crap, that's a regular bullshit. Uh, let's just put it this way, from torture, that's, that's what I did. Interesting enough, don't know how that happened. Parents went out and again, uh, the same thing repeated basically, uh, which I have here on, on this video. Not that the same thing would repeat, but as I pick up the phone, I, I'm sorry, but it just happens like this that you don't somehow, I don't know how they get this, how they catch off guard. You just don't get, you don't record. And when you don't record, that's when you get hit. That's how this video came to life uh, for me to explain to you. Uh, and yesterday, he ha, it was a beautiful weather and I spent one inside, indoors, doing this shit. Uh, and it's right now 4.40 and I can finally go and I can do this stuff. I can finally go and burn finally this movie and get it done. It's, it's, it's about two hours long. And uh, as much as it was it was a really good video I did yesterday, Ian uh, I produced some other one too. I can think so, the stuff. Yes. If, what the fuck is happening here? You don't, have you ever heard of anything like this? I decided I'm gonna go and present you with another one today. That's all. Uh, the rest, it's all gonna be about motion detectors. It's all gonna be about motion detectors which trigger lights. And it should be quite interesting. Uh, because the whole scenario was dedicated to me with idea to eventually push me in a really, really strange world throughout which I would claim on how even the tunnels are under our home, uh, a total crap. Now, I'm gonna say to you something. Uh, this 27 years of life that I spent dealing with the idiots I'm not going to say incompetent people, but really insane people. Uh, bad people, and that includes my family. I don't have any compassion for anymore. This is enough. I'm going to say to you something like this. I'm going to tell you like this. Hypnosis is bad enough. Hypnosis, 
when I was uh, a kid, I came across a book from Rudolf Steiner about subconscious mind, how it all works. And, you know, when I went to United States of America, I had no fucking idea that's going to be actually a book that's going to save my life. Yes, because I understood about already in eight, as an eighth grader, I understood about the subconscious mind that it's not only about, um, you know, I, I was fascinated about the brain processing information, how the brain is processing information and realized that how fresh we are in the mornings, uh, you know, after going through the certain um, material. Uh, you you know you study and uh, it's a lot of information and just I I couldn't understand uh, how come you know as a six as a seventh grader in the school you know how how is all this shit coming uh, and it always makes sense it all always gets together all this stuff and so I reached out by coincidence by by pure coincidence I myself I was interest in a human mind and I reached out for this book and this shelf in the library here in the in the school uh, in a grammar school I actually uh, it was not a grammar school no it's a grammar school it was um, yeah actually it was a it was a city library where I did go and get this book uh, and I was so fascinated with this stuff that I would go and, and uh, read one over because I wanted to understand uh, about this hypnosis. A long time ago was this stuff. Um, the world was just changing completely. And as a young kid, this, you know, the kids, kids, kids read this kind of stuff. Um, I wanted to know about how it all functions, okay? And so... I got a slight idea about a subconscious mind, you know, and that's pretty much what is exploited under this so-called MK Ultra. It's basically mind which should rather be used in a productive way to process information, organize information for one to operate, uh, I'm not going to say normally, but as efficient as possible. But in this case, when you are drugged up, when they drug you up, uh, for things to get even worse, uh, I have received over 10,000 death threats, beatings, abuse of, of all kinds, impossible to explain. Uh, spent three and a half years drugged up in really completely unbearable situations with dealing with the really mentally ill people. Because these politicians are everything but sane. And you can see what's going on in Ukraine and elsewhere. Uh, and so, just considering, you know, hypnosis, uh, is it real hypnosis or is it not real? I'm going to leave this up to you. It's real. Uh, hypnosis, that's something that's actually like a motoric almost type of, uh, like a reflex a response from the brain uh, that somehow, and how, I'm going to explain to you, if I get you... Because I am capable to explain to you because the hypnotists also were involved in this case. It was also like this, that it was people that were hypnotists and they explained me how in many ways I learned a little bit from one, a little bit from other, or when I was drugged up, how it's all done. Um, you get one by one and you drug these people up and you teach them when they are drugged up to respond on a certain move and they comply and they comply and they comply uh, not there is a chance but almost a certainty that if this person comes to you in real time and you do stuff like this to him and you tell him slip on that command that he's gonna fall to trance uh, and in my opinion, that's what you see in this mass hypnosis in this audience. I think they're all a bunch of MK Ultra piglets subjected to to prior, if you like, in a parenthesis, MK Ultra stuff. 
Uh, that's what I basically came to in respect to hypnosis. Now, hypnosis, you know, hypnotists can pretty much do anything they want to do with a person. Um, I learned the difference between what, just how far, what can be done with a person. Uh, and I can tell you that when it comes to mind, uh, mind too can become jammed and totally responseless for manipulation against one. Mind become hacked. Did my mind ever became hacked? Um, I responded, believe me, as intelligent as possible, uh, but even as intelligent as I responded to certain provocations afterwards that followed in me, uh, it actually didn't even matter because in 2013, uh, when my parents, my father, therefore, uh, Dr. Igor Kotter and his wife sat right outside here and uh, I was doing my stuff, my videos, and they brainwashed me prior to that stuff, tortured me, tormented me, and anticipated, way awaited how I'm going to come out and stress them my issues. I avoided whatever they demanded from me, but just coming out and asking them to please go, to leave, uh, resulted in hospitalization. And I was not even the one who was really abusive. These people were abusive toward me. Uh, and uh, it didn't matter because... I'm going to say psychiatrists didn't write this stuff down. Whatever they wrote down, it was like uh, you would go to the Stalin and you would have few people uh, and they would just fucking assemble whatever they wanted to assemble, included in that, on those lies, other lies uh, about how I communicated at night with Germans uh, and with the Nazis and all kinds of stuff like this that never ever happened at all a whole bunch of a whole set of lice crap uh father that i don't know that i was physically abusing and mother and father and so on so it didn't fucking matter it doesn't matter because they assemble it's enough through your case they assemble people they will seal your face that are willing to go and get you killed uh, as milan kuchan referred to me you are dead buried dead buried you dead walking man in 2013, he used to call me like this for two years. He couldn't break my spirit even when I was institutionalized and so on. Uh, it really doesn't matter. It really, really doesn't matter whether, uh, you know, it, it can have impact on you or it doesn't have impact on you enough to get you in trouble. Uh, these people get you in trouble. And in my case, they insisted against me for no less than 27 years. So if hypnosis uh, is a bad shit that you can do to the person, imagine being drugged up three and a half years at least, in my case I was, and dealing with them animals, really. These are below animals, people. Uh, you're going to hear me talking about uh, ongoingly, 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 and pushing you through other issues into this kind of world, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, even if I would go and I would state that there is a tunnel, uh, there, there is there is that that the Martians that the Martians landed on the roof or whatever I would say, it would make really it wouldn't even even if I would say this shit, it would make me insane because of degree of crime, because of the amount of crime against me, because of the type of the people involved against me it would not make me even even under those circumstances would not make me insane uh no there's no fucking tunnel let's go to the video i'm heading toward this sign here because this basically that's going to give a overview when the lights would start to trigger itself already as i would be approaching so this is 90 meters and you would already have Right, what you see right there. Again, it's snowing right now.
uh, and that's a good thing folks that is snowing um, today is February the 27 and that's a very good thing that's snowing because there's no fucking uh, flies there is no I don't know what flying around uh, in the morning hours early morning hours or early evening hours or across the night uh, at this time of the year that's not the case this is stuff they have talked about they're gonna use it as an excuse uh, the screen is wet somehow and it's blowing the wind so I'm gonna proceed but that's already the house as you see right there let me see this wow. that's the house right there uh, yeah I am not I am not uh, it's it's not gonna work it doesn't do I don't know how I don't know why but that's the house right there and that's our house right there uh, I'm gonna go ahead with a computer and simulate this uh, this is where the lights already would trigger and where I was at a sign also the house in the back that you see right there also the lights uh, would be already triggered so you would have two lights right there then the next thing then the next thing that will happen is to see the house right there behind that's a burger's house that's where the lights would trigger too as I would come to this sign here boom you would have that one to trigger the lights as I would turn inside here okay and proceed you would have lights there you would have lights there so everywhere pretty much lit. let's go inside here this is what you cannot see on those uh, evening videos I pretty much have demonstrated the households where the lights would turn on but what I want to demonstrate to you this time this this is our house here sorry I went behind the house uh, is that light right there that's uh, on our house that's what mother stated if you go if, you know if you're gonna be good if you're gonna be a good boy Basically, you're gonna keep your mouth shut whatever the fuck we do to you for whatever I was brainwashed on many occasions by Dr. Igor Kotar is gonna put my father and my mother in a jail if I'm gonna talk about the stuff they will do to me so that I'm just gonna have to bear keep quiet and that's about it water sewage and uh, I understand there's a meter this is supposed to be for the water from the other uh, bank of the river toward the village this is what uh, the man insisted me made a tunnel to his uh, workshop in the back of the house uh, all connected to oh, it's not open okay uh basically all connected to this here on uh, how i'm gonna have to that's gonna be all my job my job to investigate remove this and uh go for it and this and uh this supposedly will be connected all the way to that side that in the street where I 
head right now and behind that street and that will be my job and that there is other locations in the house have you seen it i have seen it americans uh, also bragged about this bullshit because it's important thing folks let me let me demonstrate you something remember when i told you about american uncle toms do you remember when i told you about american uncle toms about mike tyson when i told you about dwayne johnson when i told you about all this hollywood clowns coming to this place these are uncle uncle toms your people the rappers uh 50 cents doggy dog snoop dog big boy uh evander holyfield uncle toms that right there that's a company that claims makes about billion dollar in trade with the russia pharmaceutical companies that you remember when i told you about these guys about their human rights let me explain to you something a company it's more than just a company that's a company that financed crime against me that's a company that got from americans a machinery to operate upgraded its machines the pharmaceutical company so one still operates it still is in business because in 95 when with the fall of uh, soviet union uh, our markets became greatly exposed to overtake from the west due to lack of technology due to technology uh, lagging behind the west you know i was the one who was used for this company to upgrade machines this is why it was so desperate then i was used for a market purposes through the beating through the abuse i was used for attack on ukraine just like uncle tom's with me who did not know what the fuck they were doing you see uncle tom's uh this company right here behind violated international treaties with the serbia uh during the war on the balkans they supplied one and with the weaponry and with the money the weaponry went also from here it wasn't only the medications and money the weaponry from novel master from here went also to the russia you remember the chechen war uncle tom's further you have a war in ukraine today how do you think the war in ukraine came about germany financed one germany couldn't go about and do the stuff like this look uncle tom's without your help and without that fucking company behind because that was the company that gave the reason for the germany to also go about what other countries wouldn't i told you that i am not a regular journalist i'm not a regular person there is a big reason behind why i am in a situation as i am uncle toms that were coming to this city of novo Mesto, my fellow uncle toms from united states of america where i became a citizen in year 2000 naturalized citizen they were not coming here for free they were not coming here for nothing this patience of minority human rights in united states of america got paid for their share of problems in this world they got to uh promote their human rights even fake human rights at expense of mine for the crime through the lies through the torture and through the lies through the slander without having any kind of physical proofs against me they ruined my american citizenship this uncle tom's and they got paid wealth they became wealthy oprah mike tyson all these famous rappers hoopers hoppers 
in the United States of America, they did. But behind it all, it was this thing here that I properly have described in this video just yesterday. You need to see that this here was what the company I have demonstrated you was all about. You see this here, British oil gas giant BP, it wasn't only German oil trade, gas trade, violations that burned world, not only the territory on previously USSR. This is the newest one. This is the one that Vladimir Putin personally told me is going to be used to bleed Ukraine after more occupation of Ukraine takes place. Let's basically see nothing, know nothing. Here, see, know nothing from the West. They came here. They came here to collect the money. They collected good money. This, Uncle Tom's. But the main one that capitalized on this crime, it was not a pharmaceutical company that I have demonstrated you. That pharmaceutical company and myself were extremely, extremely beneficial to the man you see sitting next to Prince Charles. Because without me, Russia today would not be anywhere near as aggressive as it is. So just so you know that your human rights, the stuff you did to me with your lies, brought this world to knees. The first thing I want to clarify and declare is that what you are about to see, I was in fact brainwashed, drugged up. If you want to call this MK Ultra, you do whatever, be my guest, but to do something like this to a human being for so long, uh, I, I would call this other than torture. Uh, that's what happens when you are hijacked, drugged up, hijacked, uh, beaten up, death threatened, uh, and brainwashed. In this case, just as I confronted him on MK Ultra, uh, it didn't come to me clear when I received their instructions on how I'm going to have to describe about the lie, uh, light triggered by uh, lights triggered by motion detectors issues uh, so that anybody for that matter uh, could pay attention to me from police and so on that's crazy because it's a police that did this shit it's a police that does this shit uh, yeah they have the neighbors but still it's a police that does it uh, it's a local director of police, Ogulin, uh, and it was he next to a previous director, uh, Olai, who was close to fired from here, from this region, regional police, and instead installed by Milan Kuchan, I want to say Borut Pahor, that's apprentice from Milan Kuchan, as a Slovenian director of police. So these are the things that I have to declare first, that to me, I confronted them about this lights, how they demanded from me that I'm going to talk about the lights. They came up with a theories about uh, how the people are going to be coming inside of this residence, even through the tunnel. There was the neighbor right here, right across our house. His name is Donna Colenz, who was involved in this crime since 1995. One of the, per one of the first who got involved in this. Uh, it's always the people locally that, get, that politicians collect first. Uh, or at least one of the first that they invent in crime. They scan, they, they go over, they pick the people along the way. Uh, and select whoever is suitable for the crime, uh, 
whoever basically is willing, even if it doesn't, willing to share their views and so on. And so he insisted on one occasion when father paved uh, the asphalt and uh, they created here um, right in front of the house. I'm talking about uh, like sewage maybe a canal so for the water so it would uh, it was it would it would not collect itself uh, right uh, in front of the house uh, and then on a second occasion when they were making here um, like a, for the water pipe uh, from the other side that connects that runs through he also insisted it's I'm going to demonstrate it to you it's right next to right here in front of the entrance uh, again insisted a meter actually it's inside also insisted that uh, he added to that uh, a canal under so that he can access uh, here household from within then they have other crazy theories which they would go I know you see this as toward the city I'm pointing out if if this way it would be city but really toward uh, toward this way <laughs> because it's a camera it's like this uh, toward a village uh, toward the street behind here they also claimed me that they made a tunnel and all kinds of paranoia obviously this is a paranoia uh, they labeled me as a paranoid schizophrenic in 2013 based on complete lies based on torture and on lies fabricated lies uh, denied me the right to the second psychiatric opinion uh, declined to even follow the order from the Supreme Court of Slovenia uh, which doubted but at the same time would not grant me uh, any kind of protection anything uh, basically just cover covered uh, its ass uh, in case I would be stupid enough and somehow see it the Supreme Court way anyhow uh, bullshit Supreme Court was in crime against me since 1995 in Slovenia when I was brought here uh, its officials everything served no other than Milan Kuchan here in this country that's all there was Borat Pahor and Milan Kuchan. I'm not satisfied. Not with the police, not with Supreme Justices, not with anybody for that matter. Uh, first, I have to pay respect to myself as a human being, recognize what, what was done to me, what I have gone through, managed to go through. Uh, and, you know, it's my job to basically doubt everybody. So many people involved in it and so much nothing. Today the whole world sees what's happening in Ukraine. Well, let me explain something. I was beaten up next to for Slovenia, also for Ukraine and for Croatia and for everything else, for my views. I paid toll to these people. What these people today, he is Slovenian presidents who in, president who installed all over Slovenia. He is apparatchiks, anywhere from police to supreme justices and so on and so forth so i ain't gonna see any 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 way i'm i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna become a schizophrenic all right uh, <laughs> uh based on death threats if you're not gonna see it this way and then it's gonna be like this fuck that first thing i'm a human being that's all it's okay if you're a politician but i'm a human being um next to that theory about this tunnels, this crazy tunnel theory, a really schizophrenic theory, because they didn't know how to get somehow something that would give them uh, the ability to confirm a crime, a severe crime, to which Milan Kuchan referred to as my being buried alive already, dead walking man, he referred to me in 2013 when they hospitalized me. 
based on lies, based on slander, on lies. Dead walking man, buried alive, no way, no chance to survive. That's how he referred to me as. They attached to that theory also a theory of um, how the lights in 2015, uh, that all the neighbors, for my sake, this is what Miroslav Berger, for my sake, uh, Miroslav Berger, for my sake, that, that installed uh, motion detector lights, uh, all of a sudden he presented himself like a righteous man. Uh, so that, uh, for your sake, and I said, how for my sake? Oh, this shit under drugged up. These people, you don't fucking see them. These people are like a cockroaches inside. Like you don't fucking see them at all. They're, they're inside their places. They are hiding inside. Like, like a neighbor here, police officer, Method Yerman told me, you're never going to see me. Trust me. I never fucking see this guy at all. Uh, but if whenever I got drugged up, there was a full house of them here. It was a completely different situation. But otherwise, in life, you don't see them at all. <laughs> uh, he said, I said, how come that, that, uh, uh, I, I was like thankful to him that, that when he said for me that he's gonna, uh, put this motion detectors because under MK Ultra, they brainwashed on thousand occasions how they're going to come from below and uh, they're going to end through the door, how they're going to, uh, with all kinds of stuff, the father is going to, his asthma spray that that's actually going to be a, some kind of a military gas inside, uh, that they're going to be pushing gas from under the door, through the halls, in a million ways that that's what they're going to be doing to me. Uh, Attacking me with uh, directed energy weapons. This shit went on inside of this slaughterhouse. That's what this place is. This is Guantanamo facility here. For no less than at least 25 years is where the paranoia inside of this home next to my parents went on. It's incredible what this place here is. It's incredible. Actually, this is a collection of the worst crime that happened more crime like than anything else than anywhere else i was they threw me in those cells over there in poland selected places where they would also do the stuff it wouldn't even come anywhere close to this household here what basically here went on i was taken through the villages through the cities uh it was all kinds of stuff that went on but what went on here behind this walls you possibly cannot imagine so next to that theory, Berger stated that uh, he also installed, there was some other neighbor, because I was told that, that he installed, uh, he was the first one that installed a motion detector light, uh, triggered light. Uh, and I was really pleased when he said, I, uh, I, that's what we did for you. And I said, for me, really? And I said, yes, for you. Uh, and I was like, how, 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 how did you do this stuff for me? Um, so that, repeated again the same shit, so that, you know, so you know, you know, so that they're not going to be, you know. So uh, when they'll try to, you know, you know, when they go to your, pl to, to your, uh, to your location to do the, uh, uh, under your room, uh, in, in the house, to do this stuff at night to you and this and that. The stuff that we talked about, the stuff that we talked about under MK Ultra, uh, and uh, I said, well, and uh, I didn't even under MK Ultra when I was subjected to torture. I never ever took even when I was drugged up. I would continue to dismiss these people, ray them in the face time and again as insane. And he proceeded forward. Uh, but we did this, I said, yeah, we did this to protect ourselves. 
And I was, how did you do this to protect yourself if this, if you said that they're going to be coming and doing this kind of stuff to me? Uh, and you are going to have this motion detectors. Therefore, it will be possible uh, they will be seen at night when they cross uh, through the area, right? I'm not correct. Uh, he said, yes, uh, but you're going to say uh, it's not, and uh, we're going to have a proof from the city uh, that it is, because we tied uh, the motion detector system to the city. So they had the police, police officers that would patrol this area, they would take me aside and they would tell me, don't you even think about saying something like this, that somebody's going to your property or something like this, because it's going to be uh, this motion detectors that, 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 uh, uh, that trigger lights uh, that neighbors have. Uh, they're going to be tight. They all have like, uh, like the street that you see a public uh, lightning that, lights turn on at a certain time of the hour and then off you know in the evening and then in the morning that that's exactly the kind of concept that's being used with this uh detectors that they are actually operated even from the city even this kind of shit uh i was taught i eventually uh, believed that kind of stuff for just a little bit that's actually till I realized that that was not exactly the truth. That that was not exactly the truth. Um, so, um, whenever I would approach from the city to this property in the evening, uh, or even if I would go in the morning, uh, I had no idea how. But the lights will just fucking keep blinking, 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 blinking. Um, so impressive that I'm going to demonstrate to you. Right now I'm going to go to to a map of this area here. That will make me feel belief that really there is nobody that possibly uh, could approach to this house uh, in any way without being detected, in which idea was to push down the throw the theory about the tunnel. You know, the schizophrenia theory, they tried to incite in me through the brainwash and through the torture. Because the torture did go on. It was like this, that at night time, I have audio recordings, the least, that can be heard when I sleep, that is, sh sh that somebody is pushing through, uh, uh, whatever. I'm gonna put online that stuff, uh, at night. And just as it's instructed to go about and video record, Whoever is doing that stuff, uh, this is just, impo it was impossible thing for me to do this stuff. It's impossible thing for me to do this stuff because obviously uh, Americans say that me is going to be all the phones. Your phones are going to have a camera. It's going to be, uh, they're going to be surveillance, whatever. Uh, before you're going to be able to do something like this, turn the camera on, they're going to know exactly what's going on. You're not going to be able to do it. But um, I think it's far beyond that stuff. Uh, and so it's also something that I was referred to by American side that if can you do that, if you can do that, they literally fuck you like this. If you can do this, if you can do this, now that will be, because this, all this shit, all this crime, including the food that I supposed to learn, oh, I just, two days ago, discovered why the bananas, 
uh, had a, such a bad effect on me. And I didn't know every time I ate bananas, I get fucking sick. Like you wouldn't believe. And banana looked like completely decent without anything. But then I stopped following the bullshit from instructions from the psychiatrist who was involved in torture, Peter Kapshir, who said, just the tip of banana you have to you have to cut away because that's poisonous, but the rest is good. That's what they repeated me thousands of times. Uh, but once I dissected this banana and have seen that actually inside, inside, Everything is fucking rotten. On the surface, it was just like a little bit. But it was not a little bit. Inside, the whole core of banana was rotten. I don't know how the fuck they do it. Actually, how they did it. Because today, when bananas came again arrived here, uh, they were completely normal. And that's something I was told the case is going to be. It's going to be like this until you're going to discover this shit and then it's going to be gone. I told you. There is more here than my phones. There is more here than, uh, you know, there is more stuff that's happening. Uh, but all along, because I ate bananas, they bring the cancer patients literally from the U.S. to evaluate the food, literally, from the U.S., from United States of America, cancer patients, and they were selecting what kind of food, what kind of issues they have a uh, poisonous, deadly um, impact as far as food on their health. That's the name of the fucking game here. You understand? So, uh, that's the game. That's that's uh, what the Germans loved about it, uh, Confucius. They talk about the Confucius. So it's going to be some kind of entertainment. And Lukashenko referred to this shit as uh, uh, height poison, fine poison game when you are cancer patient. That's the game. That's basically that's the game. Uh, you go to the a doctor here, they call you that you are mentally ill, that you are schizophrenic and stuff like this. They will not give you the fucking thing. Uh, the real results, because they obtained them already before, when you were drugged up and so on and so forth. Involved in torture and so on and so forth. So that's basically, that's the name of the game. They can do this stuff because they have people at European Court for Human Rights. Uh, in Strasbourg, they have people at the United Nations, they have American side, uh, they have Germans, they have French, they have Britons, they have everybody that covers their ass. So why not? Why really? Why not? You know, it's that can be really as painful as possible and entertaining. Why the fuck not? But then on the other hand, when you think about it, I'm the only journalist, the only individual where you can go to whose new site you can go and you can read the stuff that you can't see anywhere else. Stated straight in the face what the politicians, Western politicians are hiding from the world, uh, trying to play down human expectations, not only mine, but also of people that have impact on, uh, on this nation and other Eastern European nations. Um, it's, it becomes evident that the Western world, next to completely controlled mainstream media, uh, and what they even refer to as alternative news media, are too totally controlled, uh, separate in perhaps ideologies, uh, but still completely, completely controlled. Uh, issues uh, and there is no fucking pundit somebody in the west that would operate basically on his own and this is what's called uh, this is what's called um, you know a free world that's 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 what a free world is it's a tremendous price I paid for the stuff you read that came to me with extreme cost even that I am completely cut 
from earning any kind of money, a fucking dime. Uh, just as I've explained today how this stuff was done. But anyways, they went step by step, gradually systematic, and create really uh, through through a sleep deprivation, uh, torture methods. Uh, they aimed at idea on how I'm going to go and blast the theory about the tunnels uh, under our residence that are used uh, for the neighbors uh, to secretly access uh, our home at night and shit like this. Bad crazy shit. Uh, instructed on how I have to, uh, once I see... Uh, you know, they, I'm gonna demonstrate to you, they brought me straight to, straight to the canals that the meters are, uh, a sewage canal, uh, and then inside, uh, inside the house that, that, that you're gonna see there um also canals and and basically brainwash me not for hours but days months years on how the people the fuck are coming here through and uh if you're not gonna point this on time and then you know this and that and da 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 they did not stop with this motion detectors to trigger the bullshit in me in respect to the tunnels uh, under the residence but they went ahead to trigger even further uh, this by removing uh, a cover from the hall that you see on an asphalt just about 250 meters maybe from our residence in direction of the city as you would go uh, <laughs> you see that you see that cover uh, they removed the fucking cover uh, to remind me, for God's sake, for fuck's sake, man. Uh, that was initial theory. That there is a tunnel under the house. You, you better act fast or, you know. But on the side, an individual was also pulled me on the side and said, Man, uh, if you're going to say this shit, you're going to be rated as a paranoid schizophrenic. They're going to fuck you. They are digging you a grave. So I'm going to do this. We're going to do this stuff. So when you see this shit here. So that you can recall what we told you right now. Because what's going on over there in your village. In your place. And they did. Got these people initially with idea. Uh, so that I would come up with this theory. They told me they are no good. These people are no fucking good. They are digging you a grave. You're going to be in trouble. So, you see, that kind of stuff, Miroslav Berger, Milan Kuchan, uh, my beautiful neighbors, Dr. Igor Kotar, uh, did their best uh, to present me in as, uh, I suppose, as shitty light as possible. Uh, this here, what you see here, this shit appeared. This is... Um, this was another issue that was used under MK Ultra. This is a reflector that I can see fucking bright, like a moon shining straight inside of the room here. Yeah, uh, it's again, it's right where you have seen the hole right there that I demonstrated you. It's about 250 meters away. Uh, is the man involved in MK Ultra that uh, brought that opened the business here like for the farmers and this shit was used under MK Ultra this stuff was used under MK Ultra this was used under MK Ultra this also was used to uh, to trigger in me as a psychiatrist anticipated would be a theory uh, related to a tunnel because this here that you see, right, uh, this this should cover, in fact, for me, it was all done for me, that's what I was told, you know, this would actually help me 
uh, like at night time. This is with the infrared camera, but it's already in the morning that I filmed. Uh, you can see basically the light like this from my room. He told me, the owner told me, uh, when they evaluated this during uh, MK Ultra, they placed this, I think, on a, uh, might have been a pole over there already, I don't know, but I think I was told back then it was actually attached to the building right next to the old barn, the old storage uh, also. Uh, and so now it's on the pole, but before... In a little bit, I'm going to demonstrate you. So this we're going to do for you. This was a theory next to this motion detectors they came up with. So as Miroslav Berger went further to tell me, uh, he said, no, Miroslav Berger said, no, we're going to do this. To protect ourselves as far as the motion detectors around the house and I said how how are you gonna do this to protect yourself he said well because you're gonna say that people are coming to you uh, and uh, because we're gonna have this motion detectors and these motion detectors are tied to the city uh, we're gonna have a proof that you are wrong that something is wrong with you and so this guy here suggested is going to put this stuff once he placed his he places his um, uh, business uh, to deter anybody trying to access the property from the side of the city because it will be so visible plain field uh, and just like in the rear of the house uh, where also my mother pushed bullshit forward with a light with a real light she told me my mother told me uh, my mother told me uh, that's something i didn't film yet and i'm gonna go ahead and film right now but there is a light in the in the rear of the house uh my mother told me it's gonna be if you're gonna be good with us yeah, if you're going to keep silent about the crime we do, if I translate, if you're going to be silent about the crime we do to you, this light is going to be on. We're going to pay for electricity. Yeah, that's the type of the paranoia they push down the throat so that you would go on uh, with a theory about a tunnel. And so what you can see right there, is this is really blasting the field. Uh, is just done in such a way that really really covers entire field this moon basically it's what it looks like at night time you you already have seen this I I did forgot something I was gonna say to you and now I forgot and I'm not really sure what exactly I said yeah I'm gonna go film that stuff uh, but um, that's basically it what I'm gonna do next I already did explain to you uh, all about this stuff maybe what I can do is I can also demonstrate you maybe the neighbor here uh, that's his residence yeah that's Basically, his resident, we're going to hear this on a video in uh, up front next to the road house. No, next to the road where I walk house in the back, there is like a little workshop. Uh, he claimed that he's got a fucking uh, a tunnel uh, right from where I demonstrated you right in front of our house all the way to his workshop and as soon as you detect this tunnel issue you have to go hurry you really have to go hurry uh those are the instructions to me on the during when i was jocked up uh you have to hurry up 
because mom is going to give me a signal uh, and you just have to hurry up to look for the place uh, we're going to go. If not, if you're not going to report this fast enough on the internet, the police is not going to come. We're going to go ahead. We're going to already take care of that. We're going to cement this. They're never going to be seen again, this tunnel. And they exercised through the torture again a paranoia on how quickly they cement um, I indirectly okay it's like an indirect talk you have two or three parties right in front of you you're drugged up and they talk to one another how fast were you able to cement that uh, and pushing forward, torture you with bullshit so that you would ask questions, uh, so that you would maybe even challenge on how that stuff can still be fine or something like this and get, no, 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 never, never, my neighbors are mentally ill people, make no mistake about that, and I'm in a house with a severely mentally, criminally insane parents. And this house here was a house where the torture went on unobstructed with the visits that politicians along the top police officials have paid for no less than 25 years. Straight, I was drugged up 24-7 for no less than at least three and a half years I was drugged up. A lot of time inside of this house where I was brought already from Miami, Florida, where I immigrated in 1995, uh, since 1995, okay? So this is already 27 years of crime, which despite psychiatrists uh, who insisted me that I must not talk about this stuff, uh, even was a psychiatrist involved uh, who demanded from me to not talk about this stuff. No, that's what it's it looks this. like when you approach. And this is the morning. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on. This shit is, as you're going to see this, because I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to separately, I'm going to go ahead and record this stuff. Uh, this was filmed as camera presents at 7.32. There is nobody outside. There is nowhere anybody. The fucking lights turn on. But it gets even better. Uh, it's the same shit with other neighbors. With the Bergeris shit like this. That's crazy. Uh, it's, it, it's crazy that from the, such a distance, uh, his lights would also turn on. Uh, without anybody, I would approach like they would already start to turn the fucking lights on whenever I would come back on a daily basis from the side of the city. Uh, maybe from like a distance of 50 meters, I would already see all uh, motion detectors trigger themselves all around uh, the residence. Once I started to pay attention to this shit, and the theory just didn't go through, and I tried to uh, record this stuff, the bullshit instead stopped. And I found myself in a world like this one. Let me demonstrate to you this. Um, this one somehow did go actually even very well through. There is no time and date on it. I'm going to give the time and date. I'm going to write down one anyways. Uh, but what came to me really as a shock was uh, that there was yet another recording like this. And with a time camera, with everything, uh, simply disallowing me actually to... half the view on let me see okay that must have been probably the one uh, that 
Yeah, I see now. Okay, that's right now. Uh, that uh, because the hard drive is disconnected, that's fine. All right. Um, you're gonna see one recording for which also I was told uh, it's gonna be. We're gonna do it in a such a way that if you're gonna somehow manage to go and get this video recording, what you're gonna to try to do. And let me let me let me demonstrate you this. Uh, th that's because that's that's what makes the whole thing. Uh, I'm gonna say even even crazier. This is out of such a situations that they would they would want it to trigger in all the class that you would say something stupid and then basically be viewed as a paranoid. Uh, I was using the fucking torch flashlight, if you like, this thing that you attach in the head next to uh, Android. Uh, uh, also that I turned on the light and uh, you know, it was ju it's just a clip you're gonna see that you can't see shit you can't see shit like they told me like you're gonna be you're gonna be f if somehow you're gonna make it uh, that th the lights are not gonna go on then we're gonna make it like this like you did not uh, nothing is gonna appear on a damn thing it's going to be completely black, the uh, a video. All right, so in other words, it's going to be edited. It did happen, did so. My uh, telephones are shitty. They're no good. They really are no good. Uh, the telephone I was recording with is bad telephone. But it's not that shitty because it's a, it's a tape you're going to see when it was raining. And I managed still to capture... Uh, um, and cars and uh, damn trash beans and everything to prove the point that no light detector triggered anywhere. Uh, actually, motion detector triggered light anywhere. Yet it became completely pitch dark to the degree that I went yesterday in the evening again when I was going to do this video. Fuck that, I said. This is ridiculous. And I took two phones with me and went ahead with the two phones like this boy there's another uh another phone that i video recorded with so that that's really some shit would not go like this in case again uh to capture to prove the point that there is no fucking light detectors uh, that would uh, trigger light on people that would even walk next to the houses all right now the area i am referring to if we go here is this one here as that's basically what i'm going to do next i want you to understand the whole point here what what is this what, what's going on here let me see it's not going to demonstrate that's that's okay with me this is again the first thing i'm going to do Obviously, this is in Novo Mesto, in Slovenia, is where this stuff is filmed. Uh, on the south, you have Croatia. On the east, you have Hungary. It says Magyarska. Then you have Austria right up north. And you have Italy here uh, on the west side of Slovenia. And so if I zoom here to this city here. And uh, get to this village, which for the polit for the sake of the political correctness was already changed into a street kirka this used to be village kirka uh it's pertained to a region here in the background it's called slotnik now it became part of the city of the novel master this is so politically correct that they changed even the names of uh the streets and a village itself and so on and so forth so what i'm going to do at this point i'm going to take a screenshot to explain to you better so that you can understand because i thought that this would be like the right thing for me to do so that when you watch this uh clips at least so that you understand uh what exactly this is about right so that that makes point that makes sense so that's Mm -hmm. the residence uh, this house here I am filming from basically this one here okay uh, and well 
you would come from the city, it would be this direction here. This would be direction from the city. You would come uh, already like 50 meters away from this neighbor here that you have seen uh, the light triggered uh, by the motion detector. Uh, yeah, it was a fly, it was a cat, it was a fuck. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm not going to even apologize for root, for um, a primitive language I used because this stuff is so primitive that uh, for someone with a human being on a level like myself, this is this is a crap. Excuse me. This is a second house where motion detectors also triggered. Then you have this house here where motion detectors also would trigger itself. And you have this house. This this is what really got my attention. This is from Berger House. And you have, here you have Peterlin. So when you would come like on a distance of 50 meters, and that's when I started to pay attention to this shit. Uh, it, it, it was really, really weird, this stuff. 50 meters distance to this house here. Already this house would trigger the motion detector. Then simultaneously with this house and with also this house. Wow, fuck. Uh, so that was quite, I'm not going to say impressive, but... Um, you understand the point here? Um, it was a time when this house also would display the light so that with, so that when you would come here and you would enter here on up front our house, you could see right here, you could see all these fucking houses around with motion detector on all these houses all these houses around all of a sudden everything was bright man it was like a fucking bright like a daytime in the middle of the night so for me to say um there is nothing else to say other than for me to go and also grab what you're going to see from the rear which is this here is also where mother told me she told me uh, if you're gonna be a good boy right and we're gonna leave this light on uh, and she repeated this stuff to me under MK Arch on several occasions but she never ever would answer to me why because of course she wanted to look like good she wanted to look like somebody uh, on my side but is not allowed to say well she caused a lot of shit uh, so much shit actually that uh, it's incredible today I have spoken to her about even about the poison rat poison she lives at the entrance of uh, in a hallway of this house uh, she keeps leaving poison over there at the entrance and when I confronted her when I asked her why do you have the poison stored at the entrance uh, to the house uh, and she said because she had no place and I said really I said this is a 600 square meter house because uh, this house is fenced uh, property uh, and I said, uh, not because it's fence property, it's a fence property that's just related to this motion detectors also issue. Uh, but related to the stuff I just mentioned right now, I said, you, it's a 600 square meter house with actually even what you can see here, another workshop here in the, another little house behind and you have no place to store the poison uh, other than at the entrance uh, to this house i mean that's it 
that's all there is to it. That's basically this stuff here. I am going to dedicate special video about this stuff. Talking about the cyanide, my mother made sure that this box here would be here. And we face this thing like this. This is a poison. Let me tell you, in this kind of environment, being humiliated, laughed upon, uh, rather than assisted with the police, rather than to have a state apologize to you, issue apology to you, being scorned, met, aggravated by the people involved in MK Ultra, who rather than to admit guilt, rather than to admit previous encounters when you were drugged up, uh, doubt about how you met them, where you met them, and this and that. Uh, proven case, it's very, very... Um, you go and figure out, that's why this shit is here. Talking about depression here. If something would have been wrong with me, probably really, uh... I would be the one that rat. In fact, I did eat a lot of garbage food that she collected in the stores uh, from special advices uh, she was referred to uh, to bring inside of the house for this, for the sake of this. Find a poison game. I couldn't figure out ever, and it's also something I was told by Peter Kapsch, the case is going to be, I'm basically repeating you his words now, I, I always feel sick after eating bananas, and you can see a good portion of banana here already is missing, and crazy is it same because it looked like this, you know. I Interesting is on the surface is almost nothing is like this, but under the surface, because this time I actually took time. Today is unfortunately February 25th when I did this shit, and I recall when cops told me, and some people in Tush they told me and in the stores that they will be doing creating bananas like this. So this is just done to make one sick. Look at this, and look at that. Je already almost half of banana is missing, and you can see just how deep this, how rotten this stuff is. No? So this is not, um, this is deadly. It looks like this on the top. It actually looks good. I said the only thing I have to do, because this is how they brainwash me, bananas are very good for you. The only thing you have to do is take a tip off. It's because of the tip that you don't feel good. Now, actually, it looks like this, but inside it's like this. So how they are creating bananas like this, that's a good question. And this is the kind of stuff always made me sick. Okay, so this morning... Once I try with another banana, because there were two bananas, uh, I see, because it looks just exactly the same as the other one, and I was stupid enough not to go and record uh, a peel from the banana you have just seen right there. That's what makes it probably even more, it, even deadlier, because with this banana, in a contrast to the one I have demonstrated you, nothing absolutely was wrong with it. So you have 50-50. What are the chances you're going to eat one, you know, eating one rotten banana with a cancer? Trust me, uh, that's going to send you back two weeks in time, if not more. And that's basically, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, and there you have it. From Great Britain, from Canada, from United States of America did cancer patients. Not only from Hollywood, they would come 
inspect the local food supplies, see what is, what bothers them compared to what their manuals and stuff poison, what they encountered poison, poisonous in their lives, and they added this kind of uh, circumstances to protect crime against me in Slovenia. So I don't fucking know how my uh, fellow Slovenian people, especially when they see the war in Ukraine broke out so many dead people, how the hell they allow, how they go along with this kind of agenda. I don't get any of this stuff. Scary. It's people, my people, my own people that scare me more than anybody because they're my people here from Slovenia. That's what's fucking scary. I guess they got used to beatings, abuse and crime against me inside of this residence. Maybe villages, cities, I don't know. I don't know, they became addicted to this shit or what. That's how that's done. So it's 50-50, but it was just like this. On the surface, nothing, but under the surface, all rotten. Find the poison game. Marble bananas again. She does. I have no overview what to buy, whatever I have to eat, whatever is purchased, and that's about it. These are good bananas. This this is what I filmed today because the earlier how Peter Kops got about this, how he managed to do this stuff, brainwashing this. The brainwashing this was to remove the teeth. You see this? Because the teeth is very poisonous. The teeth that is very poisonous. It's That's very poisonous. The teeth. You have to remove the teeth, and this is what he brainwashed. You know, that's what he brainwashed with. But on two or three occasions they also brainwashed on what's going to be inside if i'm not going to pay attention to that and i really didn't because you can't see it inside you take it out and it looks like a normal banana it looks like this like this but inside actually is completely rotten this is okay look it's nice it's not a problem to eat this that's how that's done that's how that was done. Every little bit helped. Like Method Yerman, police officer, neighbor here stated, it's only adding points. It's only adding points. Bananas you see right here. These are bananas that my mother purchased just two days later. Actually, the next day. Because that was filmed on the 25th, and this year's on the 27th. Um, so... You can see the date and time right there, you can see everything on the other one too. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna see any more that kind of stuff, because every time they detect, that I detect shit, it's gone from the menu. Uh, with walnuts I have seen, she is, she brought two, repeated all the stuff on torture basically when I was jerked up, she bought walnuts and had two packs one pack she placed inside of the fridge and another one however she placed inside of the drawer now I did go immediately and eat the one from the drawer which for which she told me when I was drugged up that I'm gonna learn what the difference is between whatever is stored inside of the fridge and a cold and whatever is not Whenever it's exposed to the humid, obviously it's gonna fucking go bad, especially the walnut. That shit was poisonous as hell. Boy, their ears, it ringed inside of the ears again, like insane. Uh, but that's not because it would be stored outside, because the walnuts also don't go bad in one day or two. But because she wanted to prove the fucking point, and I should see her as a good mommy. invested great amounts of effort to screw me up as much as possible banana so rotten that if you would eat this shit with the kind of stuff that I have uh, you would be with a cancer you would have a real problems and I did have because I couldn't understand why every fucking time I ate banana which are otherwise healthy for the heart also I was instead experiencing problems 
you must understand that eating rotten food, uh, the cancer patients usually have a problem with the blood. And that actually translates into the, even the problems with the heart. Something I had no clue whatsoever. I had no clue whatsoever about disease. But when I see this shit and when I recall these people, that kind of stuff, I'm going to go ahead and I will. Uh, what I was going to say is, in an environment like this, uh, as far as this poison here, uh, if I would suffer depression, okay, if I would well, be this, depressed, if I would have real thing, like, severe problems with it, I probably would go ahead and consume this shit. Because, you know, I was told you must eat healthy food, you must eat this, you must eat that. But so many problems, on the other hand, they created to screw me up. You eat healthy food, you do this, you do that, that but you're not allowed to go sleep and sleep on time and properly like a normal human being. You try to eat something normal, but guess what? It's a poison that is hidden somewhere and it's waiting for you to consume. And as soon as you feel better, you go right back two weeks behind uh, whatever you invested to get better uh, from your cancer issues. Man, uh, next to the chocolates, next to the cookies I ate, Trust me, uh, with this kind of shit, this kind of shit would go long enough, probably I would eat this here too. That's why she positioned this stuff here. No, no detectors, no motion detection, trigger detectors, anything like this. Um, there is some there, uh, but <laughs> uh, they were trying to portray me for this house right there. They were trying to portray me for that house right there, that house right in the opposite side of ours and for this one here they had a tremendous fucking lights there is one light flashing right there but that's not it they had another one and they were trying to portray me the same thing as our house by the way they were trying to portray me the same the same thing with this here this house here this is where the motion detector also was triggered. There was no, nothing. Uh, make no mistake, I am right here. What you see right now somehow, and it's exactly what I was told the case is going to be. Um, it's going to be erased from your video. And today when I was going through the videos, I haven't seen shit. What do you see right now? It was all video recorded, yet they made the whole thing disappear. How is a mystery, but I've noticed that. So I went all around the house right now, in front of the house, all around the house, no motion detectors, anything whatsoever. Um, and so, 
it's filmed with the two cameras one with the infrared so you, you, you have here right now you have one two three four five houses for which none motion detector is triggered the house where you see right now that light right there that's from the burgers uh, they were the one they insisted me that they gonna install this motion detectors because of me uh, so really really because of me okay so that I would not say that somebody's coming from their side or something like that a horse shit basically and I am back That's the way this was. You can see the date, you can see the time. Because I don't know how, but oh, I do. On this phone, on one of the phones, where it's showing January 1st, 2018. That's because there is no way you can transfer files, whatever you video record from this telephone. I have no idea what they have done to it. But every time I have to take the card out basically SD card um, because otherwise I cannot even transfer files that's also part of the deal you know, that's how that stuff is being done but otherwise uh, just for the record You can make but a single step without being observed. Today, just for the rest of us, just to keep this straight. But this is this here, this is the time. And this is the date, and this is February the 26th, February the 26th, 2022. Okay, so you can see the time and you can see the date. I'm doing this. That's a reflector right there. I'm recording right now with uh, exactly with... Uh, infrared with a infrared filter removed from Android that's an old Android I'm using and I have removed this infrared filter and that will give you like a really good idea it's already getting dark now I'll give you a really good idea of what exactly I'm talking about, what that looks like right here from porch, right? And uh, right there, that's my room. So that gives you a very good idea about the reflector I am talking about. In a little bit, um, you're going to see one uh, basically on a larger scale, but all the neighbors everywhere, from everywhere. Oh, there you go. That's a perfect combination of the, of the, of this uh, motion detector powered uh, lights that turn on as soon as somebody would be passing through. And this is a big ass scam. That definitely is a scam. This is. Let me go out. Today is the 29th, and I'm using basically a micro, uh, actually I'm using the infrared uh, camera from which I have taken the IR filter out. This is camera, this is a regular Android.
and so it gives a better view even that right now, oh there you go a neighbor also has a they have this stuff since like 2017 and so that you can see what the hell goes on so this will cover all this area at night time okay and the same thing here with with this house too as I go for a walk at half five o'clock in the morning on January 25th that's what that looks like it looks like a second moon and that's a Kirka pharmaceutical by the way and uh, that moon right there I'll tell you when I sight this right out from the window of my room uh, and boy it really really feels like if somebody would be flashing inside of the room the owner however told me under MK Ultra because they tested this thing already before it's going to be used to project the sight the light uh, over the area uh, exactly across the field from the side of the city so that people would not enter uh, the property here and do harm to me um, but then again there was a whole set of other uh, instances I encountered uh, that followed up when this reflector appeared. It might come to you as a surprise but it's located exactly about 300 yards from my room from our house. This light when MK Ultra went on was located right on that uh, whatever you want to say that warehouse whatever it is next door because this this thing is brand new this they just came up with this stuff but this light here alike the reflector alike was located right there on that property right there There is an orchestra here, uh, but here. What the fuck is there was a car here also. All kinds of stuff, but what is it with the camera? It does not. Hmm. Let's see this one more time. Okay, now I can see now it's recorded. All right, uh, with the date and time. This is with the modified software, but I'm still gonna use this one here. This is in the middle of the road, and when I pass through here, you would go toward the city. Now, one truck left, uh, or home this way. Uh, there is a reflector right there, but, anyways. I noticed this thing here and the guy that I met the same day that was like like maybe three days ago four days ago uh, on Friday basically he lives nearby here he works for this uh, infrastructure company for the for this uh, for the road and repair company it's a good uh, would be the name and uh you know what they told me they told me you must record this because if you're not going to record this right if you're not going to record this stuff you're not going to have any any proofs uh, any proof at all uh because you must record this because if you're not going to record this stuff they're gonna fuck you he said they're gonna fuck you anyways uh 
no body is coming inside of the house through the canal through the through the uh, which is quite an unusual statement I made right because of something like this through the tunnel nobody is coming through because this shit is being used again through American news sites as soon as I did what I did and I'm not sure whether I had Android turned on uh, the Wi-Fi on Android turned on when I filmed the attack supposedly the attack I'm not sure whether I had Android on or I did not have uh, uh, Wi-Fi on on Android or not but the news Americans brainwashed me with uh, is gonna appear all over American uh, you're gonna see one on a front page is exactly the one uh, I'm gonna demonstrate you right now okay so it's this It's this shop here. <laughs> I hope you have seen how the detectors, the lights turned on. It's this shop right there. He said he made a tunnel uh, all the way down there next to whatever installation is over there underground that runs. And he was really aggressive about it. when he was making his crazy statements they had people here working here and they claim with this paranoia they, they, they went completely insane It's raining and I'm gonna turn this sideways it's very difficult to turn the camera on when it's raining raining badly there's only a light that the Berlin residence that is on but as soon as I'm gonna approach from this distance Maybe it's not turning on because it's uh, raining. Fish. Beautiful.
Okay. Got the same results here. All right. Let's head back. It appeared as if guy wanted to talk to me about something, then he speed away real fast. Ah, there you go. There is a light that turned on. And there is another one that turned on itself right there. So. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Today is well. Today is uh, <laughs> today is. You know, they used to bring a chocolates from the from this company, from a surgical company that looked like this. And uh, even for those chocolates, they give to the parents to the sister. Uh, who afterwards gave them to me uh, even for that shit uh, they talked to me about how I'm not worthy how I was not worthy and stuff like this this is a from Kirka Pharmaceutical okay that's okay that's all good oh uh, here um, really really rainy really 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 rainy today is I mentioned February 11, 2022, and it's just about almost uh, 7 p.m. Uh, raining. It's raining. And my watch, let me demonstrate to you. They is screwed one completely. Oh. That looks like this. It says Friday 9, um, second 12 already and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's the way it goes.
motion detector story is a bunch of horse shit. You can see this now. I'm sure you can see it. The time 9.20. Actually, my watch is a little forward, but about five minutes faster. Uh, what's going on here with this? Than what it should be, but I do have an audio recorder on, so I'm going to ask somebody what time it is and stuff like this. Uh, this is bullshit. It's a bunch of horse shit about the motion detectors and such It's really really not valid this stuff Every time I would approach they trigger the motion detectors stress since I did mention that uh, other light they have used with idea to trigger uh, for me in me I should say a theory about uh, about the tunnels under the house uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and measure you exact distance to uh, I was damn I was wrong that's actually 800 uh, actually 600 meters distance okay a little bit more than half a kilometer in direction of the city you can't but pass this place here okay this and this light so strong that it covers entire field here uh, but really not to protect me uh, from somebody accessing this property from the side of the from the from the from the side of the city uh, it's actually some other stuff if somebody was to um, you know this here behind this house uh, this street behind uh, this is this is just a uh, not difficult to understand who where and how all through i might say the whole village was involved in this stuff and beyond here from around and so on so yeah just clarifying these issues and uh i was gonna go and accelerate pay attention to this uh lights again ding they go off uh, I was going to accelerate this video. You were able to see those detectors right there. Uh, triggered the lights. Uh, they turned themselves so off. This is what I'm not supposed to do. But you can see that mm -hmm. uh, they're playing with these lights. I did not even take time so that I would go and record motion detectors. Look at that. Uh, actually that's I'm not sure that maybe is from the car or whatever that's probably from the car uh, but just by doing this video because I don't record I did not record I didn't pay any attention to this stuff this is February 18 definitely not when I was driving this thing uh, uh, yeah I'm coming from the village in the opposite side of the direction back home uh, just basically by doing this video which I already have presented used car four times 
and found oil all over under the car and already explained exactly who was behind this crime just by doing this video you could see you can see that they're playing with the lights every time when I go next to it, it's always the lights go on and off on and off look it doesn't bother me I don't care I'm not disturbed I don't care about this stuff it doesn't matter to me at all but I'm disturbed in respect to physical torture they, they engaged in I am respect to mental hospital Ljubljana Polia psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia where I was institutionalized tortured by the neighbors tortured by the psychiatrists tortured by the police on behalf and by the politicians by the business people uh, never apologized for that matter and I would not even accept the apology to make myself clear under no circumstances not from the police not from the state people not from anyone uh, because what you see here I shouldn't be even doing this stuff that's their job that's not my job to do their job uh, and pretty much why I recorded this video I really do not care about lights turning on lights turn it off whatever they're doing uh, and I also care about the stuff that goes on at night here at inside of this very house where people are coming inside that's the stuff I do care about that's the stuff that is disturbing uh, I was deprived severely of the sleep this isn't just cancer related stuff uh, that as a consequence will even leave you with uh, pain with a cardiac problem uh, but it's the sleep deprivation that was used to further uh, the problems in this case it was a sleep deprivation that was in fact used uh, to push forward the issues uh, a theft of time a denial of the right to go to the hospital be examined like like other people are and so on that's the kind of stuff that's been used in this case to push forward the theory about the tunnel under the house which does not exist just so some way somehow psychiatrists politicians would get it right that's a Queen Elizabeth with Milan Kuchan and then here you can see George Bush with Vladimir Putin Milan Kuchan and Dernoshek that was another Udba individual another garbage